everyone, welcome back. I have another skincare reaction video for you and this is one that has been requested for a while now. And you know, I took a little break on doing some of these reaction videos and I'm really glad to finally get to this one because I am reacting to Miranda Kerr. This is on Harper's Bazaar. This is their Go To Bed With Me series. I'll leave a link below in the description box to the original video. You know, Miranda Kerr doesn't know it, but I do. We have a special relationship. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she might not she might not realize it because you know she's gone off to be this like huge celebrity and stuff. But there was a time I have all these like past lives. One of my my past jobs was that I was a People magazine reporter, and I actually did that for about like five and a half years where I was a People magazine reporter. My job was to go out to fun events in New York City and premieres and red carpets and stuff and interview celebrities. So there was this one night. It was 2008. I'll set up the whole scene for you. It was 2008. We were trying to figure out if Orlando Bloom and Miranda Kerr were in fact an item. Were they actually dating? And so I went out to this art exhibit for uh, the opening of an art exhibit in New York City and I saw Miranda Kerr was there. So I decided to walk up to her, tell her I'm a People Magazine reporter and you know, we just have some questions. So I asked her some of the typical kind of questions. I was like, you know, tell me about your skincare, your beauty, all that kind of stuff. The first thing I remember thinking was like, dang, this woman is gorgeous. Like if there were really angels in this world, like she, she looked like an angel, like perfect skin, perfect features, perfect everything. She was a Victoria's Secret angel also at the time and it made a lot of sense. So she was absolute perfection. And I also did confirm that she was dating him that night. Thank you. I was like, so did you spend Valentine's Day with Orlando? And she was like, oh, she's like, I might be a Victoria's Secret model, but that's my secret. And then she looked at me and she was like, wink. My editor at People, by the way, she was like, good job, Susan. That was one of those like pat yourself on the back kind of reporting times. It was, it was good. It was good. Anyway, but uh, fast forward after all those years to now, and it turns out we have the same OBGYN. And so it turns out we're both also living in Los Angeles. It's like, we're just same, same, same person. <laughs> and um, she was pregnant at the same time that I was pregnant with my second baby, Isla. And I ran into her at the my OBGYN's office. I didn't say anything to her. I wasn't like, remember me? Wouldn't that be creepy? That'd be so creepy. But anyway, so I saw her there. And I can tell you guys, I can confirm, she is still an absolute angel face. Like she is absolute perfection. It's unbelievable. Even pregnant, she looked like just perfect. And why do I say all of that? I say all of that because I have a feeling she's going to talk about mostly all her own skincare line. And I'm not at all saying that any of her skincare is bad. All of her skincare might be amazing. But I think one of the things to always remember is that when somebody has a skincare line and they are perfection and just perfection at all times, what works for her doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you. All that to say, let's get into this. Let's see, let's see what she's doing in her skincare routine. Yep, it's that easy, no hands. <laughs> well, maybe. That stupid tool was in another video I just reacted to. I'm gonna leave a link to that video, it's a Somi video. It's a fun gimmick, it really is. Don't use that tool. It's funny, it's cute, whatever. When the kids go to bed at night, um, I get to have this little self-care ritual for myself and I really look forward to it because it gives me time to nurture me. For skincare, I only use Core Organics products they're certified organic and healthy for you and also deliver powerful results. I don't want to put anything on my skin when it comes to my skincare unless it's going to be actively working and giving me results that I need. I just celebrated my 37th birthday and I'm happy to say that my skin has actually never looked better. And I honestly know that that's because of Core Organics. Before I start my... I mean, that's what I wanted to get at with that whole story is that back when I saw her in 2008, she obviously didn't have Core Organics and her skin was absolute perfection then. I mean, she might not have thought it, but I'll tell you, I thought it. I will say she's consistent because I remember back then, like her diet, what she believed in like putting on her skin, putting in her body and stuff, like all of that is still very consistent with what she believes in now. And there is something that intrigues people with that kind of lifestyle, right? That like organic and clean lifestyle, especially when you see someone as, as beautiful as her, you're like, 
you you can't help but think like there has to be some correlation with that but that's not necessarily true again i'm not saying that her products are bad i'm just saying that these are things to keep in mind it's not about necessarily ha having organic products that makes her look like this this is mostly genetics that makes her look like this it's just something to keep in mind i'm not at all knocking her products i actually am very intrigued by her products but i always want to point that out nightly skincare routine I like to burn a little Palo Santo and Palo Santo is kind of like sage. So what you do is you burn it. I use it, burn it on my candle and then I waft it around, take a few deep breaths. It really helps clear the space and clear the energy. I love Palo Santo. We'll now start with my skincare routine. I use Cora. I do think there is something to the chill out. Whether it's burning the Palo Santo or your sage or lighting a candle, taking a deep breath, turning on some music. There's just something, right, that clicks for for everybody. There's something that you would like. It maybe not Palo Santo, but maybe it's something else. But there is something to taking that second to give yourself some mental clarity. And I think it's really important these days, considering everything that we're experiencing in this world, this is a time that we've never had to experience before. And I think it's really affecting all of us. And you can, you can sense it online, you can sense it when you speak to people. And all of that tension, myself included, I feel it. Like I, I can feel this low level headache. I was just telling uh, Carly, who's sitting here watching the camera, I was like, I'm getting that low level tension headache that I tend to get lately. And it's, it's because I'm holding all this tension and stuff. And so, you know, maybe I'll go light some Palo Santo after this and chill the fuck out. Organics cream cleanser. So what I do is I just put a few pumps on my hand and then I rub it into my skin like so. And I like to double cleanse. So and I remove all the makeup. Lately I've been using these sponges because I feel like they help remove all the makeup. And have a little more cleanser there. Rub it into my skin. And voila. The next step. All right, so I love that she does a double cleanse. I didn't even realize she had some makeup on when she was talking until we saw like her skin start to turn really pink. Yes, you can double cleanse with the same cleanser. Whenever people tell me that they don't like using an oil-based cleanser as their first cleanse, I, and they ask, can I use just my same cleanser as the first cleanse also? And I say, I usually prefer a cream cleanser and that's because it has emollients in it that will also just help to break down all of your makeup and grime. Does it work as well as an oil-based cleanser not as well but it's pretty close and she also goes in with those sponges and she's very gentle with it you guys know I, I'm all about being gentle with your skin so I really love that she went in with the double cleanse and she used that as an example of you can use the same cleanser preferably a cream cleanser as the first cleanse this has a lot of emollient ingredients in it it has a lot of different oils in it it does have some essential oils in it which I know people are very anti these days but in a cleanser, I actually feel like it's totally fine. And I'm sure that it actually adds to that aspect of her like, her chill out. She does turn pink. Let's talk about that. So when you look at the way she turns pink, she was very gentle. There's no doubt about it that she was very, very gentle in what we saw. So she has that type of skin that just reacts. She can probably just touch her skin and it probably turns a little bit pink. So this is really good to know because she didn't tell us what type of skin she has. Maybe she'll say it later on, but this is really good to know because it's kind of setting the tone of what type of skin she has. It doesn't necessarily mean she has sensitive skin. It just means that she's got this reactive kind of skin. And I'm curious to see what she's gonna be using later on. Something else I just noticed in this cleanser is that it has vitamin C in it. I wouldn't really put too much into the vitamin C. I think that vitamin C in a cleanser, actually my brand has a cleanser with vitamin C in it. It's an antioxidant, so it's really good. It's strengthening, brightening for the skin. You are gonna rinse it off, and people wonder if you get benefits of it if you're just rinsing it off, but I always say that there are benefits from it, even if it's momentarily. Sometimes 
people can't handle having vitamin C on their face as like a serum or a treatment. So same with vitamin C in a cleanser or salicylic acid in a cleanser or some type of active ingredient. You get more and more benefits from these active ingredients the longer they sit on your skin, but you can still get some of those benefits even in a cleanser. And if you wanna utilize it even more, you can just let it sit on your skin for a little while. So she uses this as a double cleanse. So she's got it on her skin probably for a little longer than a typical cleanser. After I've cleansed with that gentle cleanser is I use the Calming Lavender Mist. I spray a few spritzes and breathe in the aromatherapy of lavender. <sighs> so relaxing. I also like to keep this by my pillow so I can spray it on my pillow before I go to bed as well. But this um, lavender mist is also a toner. So it's, you know, a mist and it, it tones your skin. I then use one of my all time. So we're obviously picking up on the vibe that she's going for. And like I said, I think there is something to this. I think she looks like she is not a stressed out person. Would you agree? I really believe that this adds to it. So there's the vibe going on with her skincare routine and her skincare brand. You know, a lot of these like rose water toners and lavender toners and stuff that you see people spray, they tend to just be like glorified perfume. But what's a little confusing about this is that the description box says that this is a soothing and calming toner. And I think that can be very confusing for people because, you know, usually something like this that says that it can calm irritation, calm that redness in your skin. You think of ingredients that truly can do that. But when I look at this ingredients list, it's really, I mean, there is aloe leaf juice in this, which just essentially means that there's water with some aloe powder in it usually. And then it goes on to have ingredients that I don't think are bad ingredients. I just don't associate them with being soothing ingredients. And these are different citrus extracts. What I associate those with is more like slightly exfoliating the skin and brightening the skin, which I think is great. I love those kinds of ingredients in my skincare because they have these natural AHAs in them, but I associate that with exfoliating my skin slightly. So gentle exfoliation, yes, but not necessarily always soothing. There's also like lactic acid in here. There's a little bit of alcohol in here. You know, again, these are ingredients that if you have irritated skin, these aren't necessarily ingredients I would be recommending to you. My favorite products, the Noni Night Serum. This has natural AHAs and BHA ferments. And I'll put a few pumps there. So this Noni Night Serum, I absolutely love. And it's helped me a lot with my pigmentation. So with each of my pregnancies, I developed pigmentation um, on my forehead. You can see, you'll see a little bit of it there. I've been using it for about eight months now. And I've really noticed that my my pores look smaller, my pigmentation spots are almost gone, and it feels um, kind of tingly when I put it on, which I really love. And don't forget to put it on your neck and your decolletage as well. So next is the Core Organic. This is an intriguing product because I'm sure it exfoliates your skin. It has ingredients that I tend to really like, lactic acid up at the top. There's willow bark extract, which actually is more of a BHA because it converts to BHA. This is called an AHA resurfacing serum, but I would actually call it more of like a combination resurfacing serum because it has essentially a BHA in it, which is, is great. I love those kinds of combinations. It also has other ingredients in it. There are ingredients that hydrate your skin. There are ingredients that will replenish your skin. It actually has a fairly long ingredient list. A lot of her products have long ingredient lists. So they're going with that, you know, the whole, it's Cora Organics. Like they're going for that whole organic theme. A couple things I want to point out about that. I think people think that organic means that it's going to be more gentle on the skin. This is not meant to be a gentle product necessarily. I don't see the concentration of the acids, the, the exfoliating acids in this. And, and I don't think that matters sometimes, by the way, guys. I think that, you know, it, as long as the product works, it works. But I think something to point out for people is that they might pick up this serum and think like this is gonna feel like a nice soothing serum or something like that. But this is gonna go to work. This is gonna work really hard on your skin. I'm glad that she pointed out that it tingles because it should tingle. This has exfoliating acids in it and lactic acid is pretty high up on the ingredient list. It's the second ingredient on the ingredient list. This is probably pretty strong. So keep that in mind. I think people associate organic with gentle and that's not necessarily the case. And, and also on that whole note of being organic, they keep pointing out that it's organic. It's called Cora Organics and 
and it's from organic farming and everything. I just want to point out, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. Organic ingredients, especially in your skincare, doesn't necessarily mean that they're more effective, they're gonna be healthier for you or better for you than say something you pick up at the drugstore. At the end of the day, any products that are being sold on the market, they technically should all be good for you and safe for you. Really, at the end of the day, I think when people go for organic, they're trying to look for something that's safe. Really, all of the products that are for sale should be safe. And that's what it really comes down to. It's Noni Glow Face Oil, and I've been using this oil for over 10 years now, and it's, my holy grail product, so I put a few drops in my hand here. It's a nourishing treatment oil that's great for all skin types, especially if you have sensitive skin. It helps balance the pH, and what I like to do is pat it into my skin. It has noni extract, rose hip oil, sea buckthorn, and a rich source of antioxidants and essential fatty acids that really help hydrate your skin brighten your skin, it helps with scarring, and even my husband uses this product. He loves it. He uses it every morning and night, and it's really transformed his skin as well. Sometimes what I like to do with this Noni Glow Face Oil is massage my face with our Gua Sha tool. I have two here right now, but um, most people only buy one. I have two because I love doing a double massage feels so good and it really helps improve circulation as you can see my skin's getting a little pink as I was saying you don't need to use two it's just that I love them so much it's made from rose quartz crystal and actually all of Cora products are filtered through rose quartz to get that vibration of love you can use these on all different pressure points so I like to use it sometimes in my hands pressure point there there's another little pressure point here and also on my neck. I could do a whole video about the pressure points where I use my Gua Sha Rose Quartz. Our next product. The reason why this is an interesting oil to use at night as your kind of like a treatment, I think people don't realize that their oils can be treatments. They're not just occlusives and they're not just soothing. They can also be treatments when you get rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is one of those that is like a favorite among people. It's actually one of the most, like the top selling of the oil ingredients, or it used to be back in the day. And that's because there are just so many benefits to it. It has natural vitamin A in it. So you get the kind of similar effects as you do with your retinoids, but in a much more gentle way. It's also high in linoleic acid. There are other ingredients in here like sunflower seed oil that are also high in linoleic acid. There are a lot of fatty acids in this, so it's gonna repair your skin and restore your skin and replenish the lipid barrier of your skin. But also, you might have heard me talk about this before in one of my skincare routine videos, linoleic acid is really good for people who have oily skin and who have acneic skin. You actually want to use rosehip and also sunflower seed oil, it really actually helps to restore that balance to your skin so that maybe it can calm some of your acne and some of your oiliness. So it's really interesting. She also goes in with her gua sha tool. So there are a lot of, you know, she's kind of like, she's kind of doing it right. Most times I'd be like, mm, don't end with an oil only, but she, you know, had hydrating ingredients in her serum. This is kind of locking it all in and it is such beneficial oil that it's kind of nice but then she's also doing a gua sha tool where I, I always say, if you're gonna use these tools, give yourself that slip so you're not tugging on your skin. When it comes to the gua sha tool, I'm glad she has two. She's like, I've got two because I love them. It's like, you've got two because it's your brand. You can have as many as you want. <laughs> but you know, the, the one thing that gets me about gua sha tools is that I believe, this is personal belief, maybe. This is also stuff that I've learned from estheticians and stuff. When you do gua sha, gua sha is also done on the body and you are kind of creating these like marks on your skin. You're trying to get the blood flow going. The thing with gua sha is I think there is actually a lot more technique to it and I don't think it's necessarily something that people should be doing at home unless they really have it down. I really do think you can tug a little too hard. I just think that there's just so much more technique to it and I think we, kind of take it for granted when we have these gua sha tools at home. I loved that she was using it for like the pressure points. That's a little bit different to me, but when you're dragging it across your face, I, I always caution people for that. I would much rather you use some kind of a roller and, and not necessarily drag a gua sha tool across your face. Especially if you have more mature skin, you really don't wanna be, you know, dragging a tool like that. Is 
the Noni Radiant Eye Oil. And this Noni Radiant Eye Oil is an incredible product. It has a rose quartz rollerball. It has natural retinol in there from the ingredient called Kahai Oil. Um, so it really helps with those fine lines and wrinkles. Sometimes I just sit there and roll it around and around and around on my eyes. And I also do it on other little fine line areas. My very last step. At this point now it's just more oil. For my skincare before I go to sleep is my Noni Glow sleeping mask. I keep this next to my bed and I use it every single night. It's like a coconut jelly that it contains natural hyaluronic acid and so it locks in the moisture, it dries as a translucent veil and it is super nourishing and hydrating and locks in all of the active ingredients into your skin. It doesn't rub off on your pillow and so in the morning you wake up and your skin is so bouncy and dewy and glowy. You guys are going to thank me for this. Um, my mum's so obsessed with it, she uses it day and night. You can also use it as a quick um, flash hydration treatment. So you put it on, leave it on for like 10, 20 minutes and then wash it off. Um, I used to do that a lot back when we were doing road carpet events. I would use this as a quick flash hydration treatment. A very funny thing that I've recently gotten in. Everything was pretty much going well and then she pulls out the sleeping mask and this is where it gets confusing. So she's talking about like hyaluronic acid but we just saw her put on two different oils, right? Usually if it was just a hydrator, I'd be like, mm. Uh, don't put it on over oil. It just won't do anything. I went to go look at the ingredients and there are other oils in there. There are also hydrators in this. There's actually more glycerin than there is hyaluronic acid. I think personally, and I say this without feeling the texture of this, I think I would still put this on first and then move on to the oils afterwards and lock it in with the oils because I think sometimes oils are just a little bit they're heavier and they can lock everything and they can be a little bit more occlusive. They can also just be emollient, like squalane is great. You can put that under a sleeping mask and it'd be great or you can mix it together. I have to feel the texture of this. I don't know for sure. Like even calling it like a flash hydration mask, maybe it's heavy and it sits on top of the skin and doesn't absorb and that's why she's using it last too. And maybe that's why she's saying you have to rinse it off. These are all just interesting things. I don't know without touching it, but I, I realize that can be very confusing to people and I wanna point that out that this is confusing me too. So, so we're all all confused together so I, I understand this is this is when you know we look at skincare routines and we look at products and we're like oh this is so confusing and I understand because this can be very confusing without actually feeling the product into um, I have a neckline slimmer and so I saw this advertised somewhere quite some time ago and when I was going through cleaning out of my closets I saw this little guy in there and I was like, this is hilarious, I'm gonna try it. So I saw it and people were saying, well, just like we exercise our body, we need to exercise our neck. And so lately I have been exercising my neck. Look, you just use it like this. Yep. Um, so there, that's a fun little thing that I use. What else do so you obviously heard me at the beginning of this video. I don't know, but I think that that's just a gimmick. And I had said this in another video, you know, you gotta be careful which muscles that you're working up because they might not make you look better necessarily. So it also won't push your double chin up back into your face. It's just a gimmick. She seems like she just wants to have fun with it too. So I do outside of my skincare routine for the health of my skin. I start my day with water. Um, we have a filter here on the house so I fill my water bottle up with about um, I fill about 32 ounces and then I have one lemon squeezed in there and after I have that I then have 32 ounces of celery juice and celery juice has been really great for me for my health and for my skin um, I really love it I do like to get Reiki facials from a friend of mine first off gross. Have you ever tried to drink just straight celery juice? I have tried so many times to hop onto this trend and I cannot do it. I do love lemon in my water though. You guys have heard me talk about that. Celery has so many nutrients in it, so it makes a lot of sense. And I know that this has been such a trend. I just cannot, 
I just cannot. It's, it's impressive, Miranda. More power to you. Another thing that I really love to do. What's a Reiki facial? I don't know what a Reiki facial is, you guys. I'm pretty bad about the alternative medicine stuff, but I'm sure Sharzad, if you ever watch like episodes of The Sass, she's so into that kind of stuff. But I'm glad that she's bringing up the things that she does outside of just her skincare routine because it's really important to know if somebody goes to see other professionals to have stuff done to them because this helps give us some perspective on what the skincare products are actually doing for their skin too is body brush so i dry body brush using upward strokes just go all the way up 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 from my toes all the way up 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 to like underneath my chin and it feels so invigorating it boosts circulation it, it helps your lymphatic system it is uh something that i do every single day um and i feel like emotionally like energetically it helps me kind of reset. So I love tools that help me reset. I actually really love this. I'm all about dry brushing. I don't ever commit to it and I just wish I would. And I think it's just, maybe it's something that I'll add back in, but I do believe in that boosting your circulation, getting that lymphatic drainage. I do think that it's really good for your health. One thing I will point out though is those bristles can be a little rough for your neck. So be careful with that. You don't want to use anything that's too abrasive in your neck area, especially because that's where you have thinner skin. You don't have, you know, the oil glands and everything that will really help protect your skin. So you want to be careful there. You don't want to be too abrasive in that area, especially as you're aging. It can really show your age. I know, bothers me all the time. So keep that in mind. Massage tool and I've been using it a lot. This was given to me as a gift by my mother for Christmas and I've been using it almost every day. Woo! Ah, it's so good. There you have it, half is bizarre. Time to get to bed. My husband has one of those and I am so terrified of that thing. Sometimes I'm like, oh God, I've got this like tight spot. Will you rub my back? And he's like, let me get my Theragun. He's pumped about it. He loves that thing. It's like, it sounds like there's like actual machinery being used in the house. It's amazing though. If you get these like knots in your, in your back and stuff, or if you're working out really hard, people swear by that thing. I have yet to use it, but we have one here in the house. That was Miranda Kerr. I, like I said, I think she is a perfect angel. You don't have to spend this kind of money. You don't have to necessarily use organic products, but if you're interested in that type of product, these are very, very interesting. There are definitely some essential oils in here. I know some people are trying to avoid that, but if you're not avoiding it and if you want those types of products, these would definitely be interesting. I'm sure, especially the resurfacing product, I'm sure it is an effective product. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if there's anyone else you want to see me react to. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.